so you see, I may have forgotten about a few things, just perhaps, because perhaps today, while I woke up and popped out of my rocking chair and began my elderly duties here in the village of Are We There You, I kind of forgot about a few things, because I woke up this morning quite excited to work on having orchards, because surely now that we have rattled my memory brain, bean brains, uh, we now have fruit orchards, look at that, yes! So let's just get this out of the way first, shall we? Because I woke up today quite excited about this event. <gasps> They look like some sort of giant seed. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, and chestnuts! Okay, oh, I forgot to look at these things. Okay, so chestnuts. Oh my gosh, I actually have very rarely had chestnuts. I think I've only had them like once or twice, but maybe this winter I shall go ahead and uh, maybe try to rustle some up to eat with my husband. Though now I'm staring into the distance. Like, aren't you supposed to roil chestnuts over an open fire? I have a candle on my desk. Does that count? Because I don't think our apartment complex would be very happy if I started a fire to, like, we don't have a fireplace. Huh. I mean, you know, maybe a candle will work. In any case, I haven't had roast chestnuts over an open fire since I was a wee one and brought some back from uh, the, the farmer's market once. <laughs> But I remember them being really good and unexpected. They count as a simple food. We used to cook them in big metal bowls in winter. Two pips would be assigned to cook for the whole village, and then we would feast. Aww, that's really sweet. Can you imagine? I wonder if the chestnut tree happens to grow well during the winter then. And apples, of course, because an apple a day keeps the doctor away, which we don't want to keep the doctor away, because we'll talk about that in just a moment, too. Juicy and ripe food of unknown origin. Thanks to their round shape, the pips have invented many games involving throwing them at each other. <laughs> you think it'd be safer to do that with our, like, current fruit of the village, the tomato? Oh my goodness. Oranges, yes! I, w I didn't want to get my hopes up. I didn't want to get my hopes up, but oranges, oranges, you guys. That, that is what all of the wonderful patrons who make up our village of Are We There You give me the ability to eat every morning for breakfast. Do I eat an orange every morning? Yes, unless I've had too much coffee and then you, you really don't want to put like the acid of an orange and coffee together, no thank you. Uh, but uh, yes, and it is still something that blows me away because growing up we couldn't afford oranges. <laughs> and so now that I can have oranges every day if I want, it is the height of luxury and a happily ever like fairy tale fantasy to me. And I am, so eternally grateful for that. Oh, okay, no, I can't think about it too hard or else I think about how I have more than one piece of fruit, like more than one type of fruit in the, the fridge to eat like almost every day. That is like ultimate luxury living compared to when I was growing up. Like I can't even, like little me would have been boggled. Uh, oh man, my mouth is watering now. Maybe I should make a fruit salad later. Ho, ho, ho. And who knows, maybe we could make one here too. The stains from orange juice were difficult to remove. Not as hard as blood stains, of course, but still pretty tough. <laughs> Maybe you should stop throwing apples at each other and breaking your noses then. Ooh, and plums! Juicy purple fruits we found in the woods. Animals and Pip were attracted to their round shape and often fought over who would eat the last one. Aw, I like how most of these have really like sweet memories. Apple trees, of course, which are going to need the apples. And oh, look at that, seasonal. You plant them in spring. Oh wait, it produces only during spring. The reserve is refilled at the start of the spring season. Whoa, okay, okay. Four seeds to plant. I really need more seed makers. The shade under the orchards helped orchard, orchards helped to beat the heat during the hot summers. Just be aware that it only takes one big fruit on your head to ruin your day, or give you a concept of gravity as the little folktale goes. Orange tree, orange tree, orange tree, it's almost summer. I think it actually is summer. Orange tree, orange tree, I'm planting these everywhere. Ince, 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 ince. These trees have always attracted an abundance of colorful insects, probably due to the strong odor they emit. Oh, wouldn't it be cute to have like a bug catcher? I don't know what we'd do with the bug catcher in this village, but it would be cute. Unless the bugs are the type that are very terrifying and you need to catch. 
I rescind my statement of wishing we had bugs in Are We There You. That sounds like asking for trouble from the chaos element. Pear tree! We had a huge tree in my last village, but we had to cut it down when it deliberately started dropping its fruit on our heads. <laughs> I like how all of these are like pretty like patient and nice. Oh, so chestnuts are going to be autumnal as well. A juicy inside, hidden inside a spiky shield. I always wondered why did these old trees hate everyone? Nah, but I could relate. Oh, <laughs> and then the plum tree, spring and summer. For some reason unknown to us adults, the children did not want to eat from these trees. We forced them to eat it anyway. <laughs> Plums can be kind of bitter. Are you kidding? We can do stuff with the fruit. Of course we can do stuff with the fruit, but I wasn't expecting to be able to do stuff with the fruit. <gasps> the remedies produced at the fruit infuser were less sour than the others, so we preferred to have them in town if possible. That's so cute! So you can take fruit and you can go ahead and heal sick pips with fruit juice. It's a sign. It's a sign, considering everything that's, uh, you know, currently going on. Also, we unlock more juices, temples, and other things. I haven't gone any further looking into the future of my memories yet, because I like to I like to be surprised. Uh, coming up rather soon. But speaking of things that are coming up rather soon, you see, I woke up so excited about the concept of being able to uh, plant those fruit orchards. Is this it? <gasps> yes! Apple tree! Apple tree! Apple tree! That should begin... What? No, I want more of my trees. Are any of them hiding over here? Please, please. I wanted my oranges. I wanted my oranges everywhere. And I don't, I don't think it's actually gonna be, is it spring right now? Or is it about to be, so, it's summer. I can't even plant the apple tree yet. Please. Well, maybe if we research it and get it out of the way, we'll be able to go ahead and like, find out about more of them in the near future. But the things that we kind of need to worry about in the near future, rather than going ahead and putting orchards down everywhere, as despite as delightful as that would be, is the fact that when I woke up and looked at my notes, it said just humble things like forest temple, apple orchards, orchards, question mark, with lots of little hearts around it, furnace, a pharmacy, and then all of a sudden, underlined multiple times, keep villagers alive. What? What? Keep, what, but we're planting or like we're gonna have fruit trees. Why do I need to worry about, oh yeah. We have a small plague currently filling the populace that I completely and utterly forgot about. And we also have a very large sickness <laughs> event coming up that I actually don't know if we're going to be producing enough help for because we need to cure these pips like as quickly as possible because the sick pips are making a lot of illness and we are barely keeping ahead of it with the the hard efforts of crystal here at the brand new killer's cottage that we made i uh, plus four if hip maker within two okay we have one hip maker within two i probably should have done another hip maker over there wait if within two within two okay okay that means i wonder if we can get another hip maker Ugh, hemp makers right now would have to be, wait, 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 could I plant a hemp field? Would that count? Would that count right over here? And then we might be able to, to convince her like that's a really good thing and she can get even more health boost from having the hemp field here. Because if that's the case, somebody needs to come and pick these flowers and get them out of the way too. This is, this is desperate times, desperate measures. All right. There's also a lot of other things currently going on in the village, like preparing to try to move this like gigantic warehouse to make room for a school that in theory, we will one day have enough paper to be able to run. Um, where the heck are my thinkers? Why are you? No, like we need, what? Thinky, thinky time, not like go collect the seeds time. Oh my gosh. All right, where are my other thinkers? Evergreen, <laughs> for crying out loud, get over here, please. <laughs> I don't know why these two thinkers tend to like sneak away on me, but they do. All right. See, we have a lot going on here, a lot going on there, a lot going on everywhere, but I'm hoping we're going to make it with our piplings. How's the seed situation? Not looking fantastic. Also, somebody needs to replant this barley. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going down. Hey, 
why don't we go ahead and have you replant the barley gaming butter because we need to keep the mills going. Where's my other miller? Fonhoof? Okay, you were inside, sorry about that. But all right, uh, let's see what we can do about this plague situation that I completely, why are you guys talking about babies? Fox Fangs, Silver Umbry, is this like some sort of moment that you realize like, wait, I really want to go ahead and have a family after all. Yay, Fox Fangs and Silver Umbry were cured. I would have gone ahead and had um, both of our healers curing at both of these benches. But the thing is, oh my gosh, look at that. Oof. The thing is we needed to be able to start like generating some health to fight against whatever apocalyptic event is trying to sneak around the corner. Oh, Chimkins, how I will never grow tired of you laying on your little backsies. All right, so back to healing more pips. Uh, okay, so now we've got Fox Fangs and Silver Umbry coming over for heals. Crystal needs to be generating that health right there. Did that not count as a hint maker? Urgh. I was really hoping that would count as a hint maker planting the hemp here, but I guess it didn't. So, oh boy. Okay, how many more sick pips do we have? So pips that cannot work are six. Oh my gosh, did we really have that many sick people? Oh man, oh boy, oh heck. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um, If I moved this out of the way, I can't even get rid of the hemp field now. What have I done? Oh no. Oh my gosh. Okay, can somebody maybe like cut down this little forest patch like really fast? Ironically, we might be able to get another hip maker in there and and make things move a little bit quicker too. Um, meanwhile, Ginger Fury, I don't think we can actually get a hip maker over there now that I think about it because the, these foraging spots need to be next to a forest. So Ginger Fury, you, if you want to just go ahead and finish like not enough seeds. Oh my gosh, I need seeds. Seeds! I need seeds. If we don't have enough seeds for those things, then I'm not going to have enough seeds to feed our chimkins. And that's going to be a problem. Emily, if you don't mind, we're kind of in a seeds and null situation. I think that we have enough to fight up against the cataclysm. So space vendance, if you don't mind collecting seeds too. This is a, a seedy situation, you might say. Yeah, sorry, I had to do that. Oh my goodness. Lord Thunder, Lavender Rain, hang in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> think, 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 think. Okay. Also, why do I not have... Okay, yeah. No, they're, they're working. This house says that it's upset. Oh, that's right. We're building a, a festival thing right here, though. So that should work. Wow. Everything uh, may have been left a little messier by past me than I was perhaps expecting. <sighs> but we shall just have to endeavor to do our best. So, do I stop? The thing is, if I stop doing health there, and I cure sick pips here, that'll be four less sickness threat now. And also, they're getting like the little counter that has a skull over them, and like a number. The, the number is getting lower. I don't think it's a good thing if we leave those piplings to get ill. You know what I mean? And we could train a pip over here, but we probably should not do that because then we can't use the healer's hut sooner than later. Do we have any other healers? Just those two. Just Crystal crystal and Firefox, like Fire Phoenix. Pardon me. I'm like distressed at the moment, so I'm all, all tumbling my words at the moment. Um, It's kind of all on you two, you guys. Like... You two are going to be the make it or break it difference for our village. And also we don't have enough like lumber being lumbered. Where are my lumberjacks? Okay, Panda Bird, what are you doing up here? Okay, you're building something. And then Lord Thunder is sick. Dragon King is cutting that down. Do I have any piplings who we can train? No. Oh boy. See, this is, this is interesting. This is definitely a situation of, of interest. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Lord Thunder sick, Dragon King gaming butter. All right, so literally my lumberjacks are all either ill or legitimately busy. Um, well, I know it may seem like an odd time for this, but uh, perhaps we shall go ahead and welcome a new pipling in. 
<laughs> because apparently I need to have a more hands on deck, especially the literal deck that we have over here, expanding and building egg uh, pier, the eggshell pier. Zubot, zero gravity, you both happen to have Z in your name. I will endeavor to try to find a child that maybe has Z in their name as well from our list of patrons. If not, I'll do my best, maybe with another funky number. Please, 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 come on. Okay, come on, I need both of you guys cured. Two of you can get cured a day, right? Okay. Okay. Do we have some cures? Jean was cured! Mandalorian was cured! Yes, okay! Fire Phoenix was cured! Fox Wings was cured! Silver Umbria was cured! Oh my goodness. What a relief. Oh, what's going on over here? Good event? Maybe? Good minor- Oh, somebody's in love! Oh, with just nature? I mean, I'll take it. Oh. Meditation on nature. Okay, I'll take it. Who did that? Space Vin Dance. You are feeling a little bit reflective upon the situation that we have found our village in. I find that adorable. Absolutely adorable. All right. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh yes, and I forgot that we have that new boost where like the kids grow up super fast. <gasps> Maybe, again, now may not be the perfect time, but maybe now is indeed the time to go ahead and uh, have a bit of a baby boom. Maybe not, well, you know, I mean, I guess if people are gonna get so sick that they're no longer present with us, it might be, <laughs> it might be useful to have some new beans. Also, I'm going through and I am looking at our list of Patreons, little one, to see if anybody else happens to share a Z in their name at first glance. Because it's so unique. It's so unique that we had like that. Okay, no Z, but we do have some other fancy ones, like letters that- Oh wait, Ziva! <laughs> I knew I I knew I knew I knew like in my gut. I was like wait a second. Come on. Come on Ziva Oh Ziva welcome welcome you too have had our back for years and I can attribute many many in orange in your name All right, any more sick pips? No more sick pips. So now we can fight against the illness with this thing Um, we're still clearing out this forest Whew. I mean, we have a pretty strong chance, 86% chance, but we really need to like push to try to keep ahead of that uh, before the big bad illness happens. All right, other than that, we also have the Cataclysm that we have a really strong, like we're gonna sucker punch the, the like cataclysmic threat and we're gonna tell it, no, we love nature. That's why we're gonna be building like a whole forest temple. Um, we're starting to get a little bit better on our wood again. How's our paper situation? The paper situation is actually doing pretty okay because we're not chewing through all of it <laughs> over here. Oh, let's see. And was I going to make another? No, we were going to make a house right here because wait, wait, wait. Why do I still have sick pips? Why do I still have sick pips? Hold up. No free. P oh, oh, hold up. Hold up. What's going on? Lord Thunder, Lavender Rain, hold on. What are you guys doing where you feel like you can't stop working? Because that's that's not good. That's not good at all. All right, where are you? Okay, Lord Thunder, you're doing nothing, it says. Sick for three days, Lavender Rain, sick for three days. You guys shouldn't be doing anything. Hey, you two. Hi. Uh, no free patient available. I mean, you two aren't doing anything at the moment. Uh, do you need to be like on this side of town? I don't like that. I, I really don't like that at all. Um, huh. Can I emergency build like a, 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 a pharmacy down there? I don't have any fruit beans to be able to make like, in fact, I don't have the research yet to be able to make the, the other infuser, but it requires health maker within one pharmacy stand. 
can I build an emergency pharmacy stand here and bring those two over? Because that's not good. They're some of the pillars of our community as well. Like they've been around for ages and ages. I, I am deeply concerned. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, hopefully we can cure them in just a moment as well. Um, and otherwise, let me see what we're up to. We're building some warehouses over here. We're working on bread. We're it's, it's, it's chaos right now. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of everything everywhere happening. Why? Oh, I see. Because the windmill takes two days to make flour. Okay. Well, the good news is that at least our villagers are alive for now. <laughs> I'm going to continue to try to make it that way. Um, gosh, heck. Well then, we're going to need to see what else we can get up to pretty darn soon here. Uh, but I suppose I, okay, like, I don't know what to do for you two. I am concerned about this. All right, well... The best we can do, I suppose, is carry on with our plans as they were planned uh, and hope that everything's going to be okay. Oh boy. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to give this a little poke a couple times because I can't lose Lord Thunder and Lavender Rain. Like, they're literal pillars of our, our literal Patreon community, let alone, let alone, like, here in Are We There You. This is, this is, this is very important to me. I'm gonna make sure I'm not making any, like, silly mistakes. Uh, and then we shall come back and try to keep them alive from the plague. No, dear. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, hang on, guys. I didn't mess something up, did I? Oh, I'm gonna double check. <laughs>